Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Game on. So, we're just gaming on with more of this Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode we got just whooped on again by that big alligator bull thing that has the horns on Nameless Island. So, we said screw that, we're gonna go back to <clears throat> doing Hikari's story up here in Stormhail. And here we are. So we're gonna go to the tavern, which is where, in case you guys were wondering, <clears throat> if you have to restart the tale after you enter a town and you don't want to, you can come here to the tavern and it gives you the option uh, to hear a tale. You just click on Akari's. Okay. Deep within the snowy mountains, <clears throat> Akari reaches Stormhair where he hopes to treat with Raymay. He requires her aid if he is to have any hope of defeating Mugen, but will she give it? Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Your Majesty, Prince Ikari's forces grow by the day. We should send troops to root him out and quash his fledgling forces. You needn't worry about that, Sageha. I've taken care of it. If he ever returns home, I'll have his head. <laughs> The Dark Blood Blade, sacred treasure of Clan Kool. Oof, I want it. Stained red by the countless souls it has taken. Hmm. A weapon that only I am worthy to wield. His lowborn mother has seen to it that Hikari will never truly be of Clan Kool. His impure blood is destined to be nothing more than rust on my blade. That sword is so cool, guys. I hope we get that in the end. Here at last, the domain of Clan May. It's a fine day for a reunion. <laughs> Ice cold and blowing, huh? Make for Castle May. May. <clears throat> so it's Rai May is her name. Rai May. It's hard for me because I worked with a guy that was called Ray May. It's real close to Rai May. I am Prince Ikari of Ku. I seek an audience with Lady Rai Mei. You will not pass, Lord Hikari. By oh. our lady's command, leave now or be escorted by force. I recognize you. You were a vassal to Rai Mei. <laughs> I don't wish to fight. I've only come here to speak with her. Mm. Is that so? If you would speak, then allow your blade to do the talking. Battle check. I suppose I right, have now it you begins. Did you know not what you face, sir? Time to strike. What a show. Let's wait till the dagger we like. This. Bring it on! Don't understand! Not the arrow, sir. There's the arrow, arrow speaker. Oh, no defense. Okay, we got some job do. points. Even though we've maxed out most of his. But then we can switch jobs, which we will, because I don't like this better class. We need more job points. I'm just getting warmed up. What's your guys' favorite class? <clears throat> I like the warrior class, and I like that thief class. It seems pretty cool. <laughs> I wish there was a combination of the merchant and the mage that Oswald is. That would be awesome. You guys to the arrow, of course. Uh, at least did a ton of My damage turn. and got me a ton of job points. I think that'd be a really cool combo. Anyways, leave a comment down below with your guys' favorite class. What's a class combo? Maybe we'll make an now album of some comments down there. My 
Space feet or something like that. That would be so cool. What to do? What to do? Sacred flame. Shine bright. Guys, for a while. Prepare yourself. Hey, focus. My flame is What a show. Here I go. Poison slap now. I'm just getting warmed up. Hi. Nice. I just guess that it's gonna be five weeks. Well now. Poison slap. Cleaning time. Prepare yourself. What is this? So I'm just getting warmed up. out but because of I can't remember if it's an item that he has on or a skill that he has it only makes it so he has one health instead of getting killed. So he can't be one shotted basically. Poison slap Prepare yourself. Stay poisoned son. My oh, so little uh -oh. oh that's it. healed me a hundred points. See that guys? Health after an action. I think it's more than just attacking. Ready? I think it has to do with uh, you actually have to do some kind of skill. Too slow. Here I come. Allow me. It's almost dead here. Uh oh. Out of hope. Go, go, go! Oh, I see. Cool. Uh. Poison slash. In time. <laughs> Here I come. Uh, it's over. There we go. For the pride of Koo. Six hundred. That's a ton of experience. Holy cow. Ah, uh, you haven't lost your skill. Now, let me pass. <clears throat> That's enough. Oh, she's got cool My eyes. lady. How long has it been, Hikari? Three years since that battle? Raimei, Mugen has seized control of Ku. For the sake of our nation's future, I must see him dethroned. So I've come to you. I would have your spear by my side, the Spear of Levin. Together, we can bring an end to Mugen's tyranny. Please, Raimei. I fear I cannot do this without the strength of Clan Mei. You shouldn't have come here. Our friendship has long since ended. Oh, man. What? His Majesty has sent a decree. Uh-oh. Any who find you are to kill you where you stand. 
Oh great, so is she working for my brother? Rime. And so now I place my faith in my spear. Call down the heavens' judgment and strike down my enemies. Uh oh. Oh, what? What? Holy cow. I'll allow no one to harm Clan May. What? Oh my god. Oh, okay. <sighs> Some dark hole. Right. May. Everybody's turning on us. Hikari. Hikari. Mother? Where am I? Mm hmm? <laughs> Are you still asleep? You're in your room, silly boy. Time to wake up. We must greet our new vassals. Of course, mother. I cast French doors going into his bedroom. Are you ready, Rai? Today, our clan swears fealty to Clan Ku. Clan Mei shall be the spear which leads the charge into the future. And it shall be wielded by the desert's future rulers. Yes, brother. When war ends, the world shall know peace. The future we've dreamt of shall come. A bloodless future. A bright future. Keep that future in your mind's eye as you serve Clan Ku. I will, brother. I am Jin Mei of Clan Mei. Today, we swear fealty to Clan Ku. I am Rai Mei. You look strong. Can you use a sword? Hmm. I've been known to swing one around from time to time. Oh. Then could you train with me? It would be an honor, my prince. You can call me Hikari. But, my prince, as your servants... There is no need for formalities among friends. Please, be a good one to Hikari. Of course, my lady. <laughs> Show no hesitation, Master Hikari. The moment you draw your sword, you forfeit any expectation of mercy. <clears throat> I'll remember that. The straight sword versus my katana. Huh. Ooh, this is interesting. My brother is quite skilled with a sword. How do you plan on besting him, Lord Akari? I plan on robbing you, but I can't. <clears throat> Fight with your limits and be careful not to hurt each other. Go on, Akari. Enjoy your training. Uh, okay. I await your challenge, Lord Akari. Yes, do a do. Train with me. Oh, this is where I learned the Hachimanjiri. Hachimanjiri. It's time to train. Here I come. Ah, poor arm rush. do that. <laughs> so weak too. Wow, cut. Now's my chance. Ah, oh, I went on through. Here I come. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I turned the game. Well, I didn't realize it was up, guys. My bad. Wow. 
There we go. Oh, I love that spin around. He does. Pure wet. Do another wow. Well. Got to finish him. Boom. Smoked him, guys. No match for us. You're quick, but your strikes have little impact. <sighs> hmm. So I'll just have to get stronger then. Wrong. Swordplay is more about technique than strength. The warriors of Clan Mei are known for their spear work, but I've always been partial to the blade myself. So, allow me to give you your first lesson. Hachimon Jigiri! Hachimon Jigiri! That was a painful lesson. But I think I understand. Hachimon Jigiri! Oh, nice. But how? You execute. Well, I had a good teacher. Thank you. I wager I'll be learning from you before long. I am the golden child. One more bout, Jinmei. <laughs> Jinmei. So Reimei's father was my teacher. And. Now here I am, dying, because she shot me with a lightning bolt and sent me down to the bottom of this hill. You've gotten better, Hikari. Thanks to you and your brother. Now, one more. If you insist. That's the Bell of Dawn. So there will be war again. Will you both go? I love the sand. The sagebrush. I think that's supposed to be sagebrush. Of course. I've pledged my spear to your clan. Mm. I want to go too. You're not ready, Master Hikari. We can't have our prince dying on us. Your mother awaits you in the city. Go to her. This will all be over soon. Be safe. You're our future. I just want to make you proud, Jinmei. You can do so by taking care within the city walls. Rumors abound that the people have turned to thievery. I'll keep my sword close. I promise. I hope to see you return soon. And safe. I'm already looking forward to our next training session. Kind of like the brother we wished Mugen was, I suppose. Lady Cora. There's no need for titles. I was born here too, lest you forget. <laughs> I've brought Azuki porridge. Please, eat. We can't. If news of this reaches the castle, then... You kept my dear Hikari company, did you not? Consider this a gift in return for your time. Lady Kura, you are too kind. You treat us as equals, as friends even. Words can't express how precious that is to us. You are, Hikari. What are you doing in a place like this? 
That's where she was born, dude. <laughs> so you don't have to there. say anything. I know. <sighs> These are our subjects as much as anyone. You just want everyone to be happy, no matter their birth. That's what I love about you, Mother. Hikari. A dark night has descended upon this world. The people have lost their way. You must be the beacon that guides them to a new dawn. What? Me? The warmth in your heart will never be extinguished. Promise me you'll light the way for others when they are lost. I promise, Mother. Hello, Your Highness. <laughs> Mother, get the... What do you want? Not right. We want your life. Nothing personal. I hope you understand. Not bad for a child. Oh! Mother! Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. Did you know? He cut. Oh! Mother! If you want to blame something for this, blame this rotten nation. <laughs> what is this? You didn't want to pay for this. Just came out of nowhere just to do it. You know, we'll rob you. Yeah. Could have at least what? made a feast or something. It's going Super Saiyan on you. So nice. I believe you know my name. Hikari. I've had enough. Kill him. <laughs> I've been awaiting this moment for far too long. Brutes such as these exist only to be cut down. I'll be glad to help them along. <laughs> Guys, messed up now. We gonna go fight Super Saiyan style? No, just cut scene. Okay. Quench the flames. Call out to the night. Master Hikari. What happened here? <laughs> Have you come to join them? My blade still hungers. Brother, get back. Come no further, Rai. I must stop Master Higari. I cannot. Brother, what are you doing? Forgive me, Master. <laughs> like a lamb to the slaughter. Brother! You're awake. <clears throat> if you're curious, we're in the castle dungeon. I thought for certain the fall would have killed you. But it seems the blood of Clan Ku is as stubborn as they say. 
whatever I may. Even so, it ends here. You'll be executed on the morrow. By order of His Majesty, King Mugen of Ku. I won't die here. There's still too much I must do. Hmm. I've seen that look in your eyes before. I remember. On the battlefield. Even when our prospects were dire, you could inspire us to action with a single look. Keep moving forward, my friends. You were fine. I see that part of you hasn't changed. So, how exactly are you planning on escaping this cell and getting on with this mission of yours? With your help, Miss Raime. <clears throat> I'll find a way. I still believe you'll see reason. As if you know anything of reason. <laughs> there are things I can't simply forsake. On the honor of my spear. And my brother. Yeah, see all these people that were wronged by the royal family or by aristocratic society or us and her brother it's all coming back to us now all the decisions we've made in the past Jinmei Jinmei I like that name Reimei and Jinmei since time immemorial Clan Ku has dyed the sands red with the blood of its enemies and now they have designs to extend their grasp into the eastern continent. Our castle here is meant to be a cornerstone to conquest, and Clan May has been given the honor of safeguarding it. Clan Ku would see the world burn. For generations, they were known as the Accursed Clan. On that day, I saw why. I saw the darkness within Hikari boil to the surface. Whatever its source, it is not of this world. Nina. Hikari butchered those thieves like cattle, but it was due to King Jigo's magnanimity that he was spared punishment. The incident was blamed on a group of dissidents who were inciting unrest against Clan Ku. The truth, however, was much more terrible than that. arranged this attack on Hikari and his mother was me. What? <gasps> By the order of General Mugen, we were to kill the bandits afterwards. No one would remark us. I couldn't refuse. He threatened our destruction. Clan Mei is few in number. We can but obey. Into assassins. This doesn't make any sense. Why? Why do this? This Some isn't the future stuff now. we envisioned. This isn't the path we hope to walk. Rai, I want you to tell me just what was the future we envisioned. After walking this bloody path for so long, I've quite forgotten. I just wanted to redeem myself, to Master Hikari. Brother, what are you... 
Don't forget the ideals that led us here. I leave our clan in your hands, Rai. Brother! This part of the story is like super thin, guys. It's like, I understand his brother trying to kill him. You dare show your face here after your failure. Words cannot express my shame. That wretched half-blood cannot be suffered to live. Well, now it makes sense. The failure was entirely mine. And I accept my punishment. I only beg you spare my clan. So long as they prove useful, I will leave them be. <laughs> May Clan May live on. Mm. Oh. All for his sister and his clan. Hikari. Raime? What was I... What happened? I don't remember anything. I'm scared of what flows through my veins. I... Jinmei? That wasn't you, Hikari. Don't blame yourself for my brother's death. Hikari, I realize now. The ideals we lived for were just illusions. But my clan is real, and I must keep them safe. So now I know what I must do. I'll protect House May in my brother's stead. We will survive, no matter the cost. That's where you think right, starts babe. getting twisted. <clears throat> By the tyranny of Mugen. I made a promise to myself that day. If we go against Mugen's command, he will tear our clan out by the roots. It's becoming rather cold, milady. By that same token, if we pluck the seeds of rebellion from the earth now, Mugen will surely reward our loyalty. Are you truly considering putting Prince Hikari to the sword? I'm considering the fate of Clan May. The only path we can walk is the one which leads to our survival. Hmm. I understand all that. <laughs> but long term, Surely you would agree, decision. brother. It's only gonna grant you what you want in the short run. What are you doing here? I'm here to ask you a question, Lord Hikari. Do you consider my lady to be a friend? Of course. I wouldn't have come here otherwise. I know she bears a great burden of responsibility. I know she suffers under the weight. I... For a long while, she has been trapped in the cage of her own fear. Ever since the day she lost her brother. <sighs> Master Kun... And killing you Good would man. only tighten the chains that bind her. He sees. He sees the future. But there is hope. I beg you, Lord Hikari, sunder the shackles that stifle her. Free her from her cell. We will kill Mugen. 
Thank you, Master Kunzo. You have given me great insight. I will do all I can. Man, one thing I'll tell you guys about this game. Great character development, great story, great depth, great writing. This part, super thin, in my mind. Kind of made it all make sense that his brother hired those guys to... Hire those guys to kill us. Um, and then he was going to back... Words, uh, just cover his back trail by killing everybody. I get all that stuff. It makes it make sense, but eh, kind of thin. Um, also, that was... 30 minutes of straight up cutscene, so you guys better be ready when you play this game. Have your popcorn out, have some snacks or something like that, uh, because it's, you know, it's a huge chunk. We're probably going to break that up into two different episodes. So, um, Anyways, that was episode 32 of the Let's Play of Octopath Traveler here on Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. We come back, we'll talk to this guy that let us out, and we'll go about escaping this dungeon that we found ourselves in, and continue on. Thanks guys for watching. If you like it, you enjoy this kind of content, you enjoy this game and what I'm trying to do here, appreciate if you subscribe and leave a like down there. And leave a comment about games you want to see in the future. Uh, I'm down to do old school games, new games. I think next we're going to do Grand Blue Relink, which comes out uh, the 1st of February here pretty soon, a couple weeks. Um, and then sometime in February, the DLC for Elden Ring should be out. So we're going to definitely do that. Sometime in between then and now, we're going to get a PS5, which I'm so excited about. And Anyways, we'll do an unboxing of that and everything. And uh, Yeah, anyways, guys, a lot of stuff coming up. Leave a comment on what you like to see. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.